What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, man, we back at it again, man. Uh, just a little message out there for everybody that, that's into that Egyptology, into that Egypt New Age stuff, that Enoch, the Freestyle Prince stuff, that Young Pharaoh stuff, man. Let's get into it then, man, because, hey, it's like Young Pharaoh is the only one that a debate with somebody or actually man to man actually sit there and, you know, talk about it, break it down with somebody, you feel me? But all y'all other people, man, y'all just keyboard warriors, you feel me? So it's just crazy, like, you got to stand for something, and a lot of y'all really don't stand for nothing. And that's that's my whole point of doing all this, because he involved in the Bible and talking about the Bible, and he trying to compare everything he talk about to the Bible and say the Bible just plagiarized it and stole it from Egypt. Stop it, fam. Stop it. The Bible ain't, ain't about none, none of that stuff y'all talk about, man. Humans with animal heads and stuff, man. But I'm going to try to make this as quickly as possible, man. We finna debunk Egyptology. Because the Bible speaks on places and people that are still here to this day, you feel me? Ethiopians, Egyptians, Italians, Romans, Greeks. Uh, it talks about the land of Jordan and the place of Jordan, you feel me? Stuff like that. Uh, Syrians, Persians. Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff that's still here to this day, you feel me? And Egyptology only talked about Egypt, like... Uh, the Bible even speaks about Libyans and Libya. Libya is still here to this day, you feel me? If, if the Bible spoke on nations such as the Romans, then why wouldn't the Romans, like, denounce it as false? Like, why wouldn't they ever stand up and be like, hey, th this whole book is bull crap, you feel me? They talking about this and this about us, and this is all lies, you feel me? Because back then they knew their history and they knew it was the truth. Like the Romans even adopted it. After after they adopted the Greeks into their empire and became the Greco-Roman Empire, they adopted the Bible into their empire and became the Holy Roman Empire. You feel me? And and the Romans was the the enemies of God's chosen people of the Israelites in the Bible. They was the enemies in the Bible. And they still accept it as truth. They never denounced it as false. They accepted it as true. So that's that's just another thing. We we still here. Where is y'all at? You feel me? And this dude Enoch, he always speaking on Satan, always speaking on Christ. He speaks on Enoch, which is also a biblical character. He speaks on the, the hundred forty four thousand heaven, hell, like, and he do it so often. Like, do y'all not realize these these is all biblical terms? You feel me? S uh, same with the term Pharaoh. The term Pharaoh comes from the bible since we're speaking on that and let's speak on young young pharaoh too because how y'all so quick to discredit the bible and you calling yourself pharaoh like back in ancient times they weren't even using that term to refer to the pharaoh they was referring to they was the ruling individual was not being called that back in the ancient times that's something from the modern times that was something that was used in the hebrew bible you feel me that's where the term Pharaoh came from. So uh, y'all y'all go y'all walk around using biblical terms in all y'all videos, bro. It's just so crazy, fam. Enoch, fam, you're a that's a biblical character. Enoch was in the Bible, fam, not in y'all Egyptian text. So it, it, what is you doing, fam? Like I just don't get it, bro. My bad, y'all. But yeah, anyways, like there's like a thousand over, no, it's well over a thousand Egyptian gods, bro. Like they had a God for everything. Literally, there's a God for everything. The, the God of the air, the, the God of the land, the God of the sea, the God of rain, the goddess of rain, uh, crocodile, uh, God of the Nile and stuff like that, or alligator, whatever one it was. Um, it's just a God for literally everything, fam. But nowadays, they only pick and choose a handful of them to worship today, you feel me? The ones that they like the most, you feel me? But back then, fam, it was different. Different gods was higher than other gods at different times and different regions, you feel me? Like, just imagine if you was like a beekeeper or you was like someone who made honey and that was your, that was your livelihood, that was your career, was basically to sell honey to people and that's how you made a living, then guess what? The, the, the goddess of bees or the or the god the god of flowers the goddess of flowers will be your main god you will put that god above any other god because that's the god you make your living from you will want to please that god above any other god because without the the goddess of flowers or the god of all bees or whatever the case it is you feel me then if you're not pleasing them then you're gonna feel like your business gonna fail like your life not, like your life not gonna work out you feel me 
and law of attraction since that's what they believe that's what they really got you feel me so they really did believe in all these different types of gods there was god there was a god for everything a god for the wind you feel me and y'all denounce y'all don't even pay attention to all them other guys now y'all pick and choose a handful a lot of them now like Ra's supposed to be the creator of everything in the universe and they consider him the sun you feel me but every star you see in the sky, fam, at night, fam, is a potential sun to a whole nother solar system. And it's well known that our sun is like one of the, the smallest suns. It's like one of the smallest stars that, around here, you feel me? A lot of the other stars around closest to this sun is much bigger than this sun, you feel me? You could fit our sun into these other suns multiple times. Like, that's how... That's how much bigger these other suns are, you feel me? So you telling me it's a million more Ra's out there, basically? Or Ra got a, whole, a million more twin brothers out there? that, Or he got a whole bunch of, it's just a whole bunch of different guys out there that's way bigger and more powerful than Ra? Is that what you telling me, fam? That's basically what you, how can he be the, the supreme creator if there's a whole bunch of other suns and stars out there that's way more bigger than our sun? That, that just don't make no sense. That means there's a whole bunch of other creators out there that's way more powerful than Ra, you feel me? So how can Ra be the, the supreme creator? Like, But, you know, you just can't worship one being in Egyptology. You got to worship Shu, the god of air. You got to worship uh, uh, Thoth, the god of wisdom. Like Then, then we got Geb and Newt, and they was brother and sister. This is what these Egyptologists believe in. This is what Enoch, the freestyle prince, believes in. This is what young Pharaoh believes in. They got Geb and Newt. They was brother and sister. They were supposedly gods, right? They was like, what, the children of Ra? It was like the children of Ra or something like that, you feel me? And they got married, bro. And they gave birth to Osiris, Horus, Isis. All these gods, fam, that that they worship, right? You, you notice um, you notice all these people into this ancient Egypt stuff, they worship uh, Osiris, Horus, Isis, and Ra, you feel me? Uh, Enoch the Freestyle Prince, that's who he worshiped. So look, this brother and sister, look, I'm repeating this. This is incest. Gab and Newt were gods, right? They were brother and sister. They got married, and they gave birth to the gods that these people worship. Osiris, Horus, Isis, Seth, uh, Nephthys. And yeah, those are the gods y'all worship. Those are all children of incest, bro. Egyptology promotes incest, like, and this is what y'all worship. Incest is demonic as hell, bro. And Enoch got the nerve to talk about who is a demon and who ain't. But look what he promotes, bro. He's promoting demonic ass shit. This shit promotes incest, bro. This shit makes it look like there's nothing wrong with incest, bro. Like, if the parents had human heads, then how were the children born with animal heads? If Gab and Newt had human heads, even, and they was brother and sister, and they had sex. How were they born with animal heads, bro? Like, but I guess it is true that if babies are born out of incest, they're like usually, they usually physically exhibit like genetic mutations, you feel me? Or they end up retarded. And that's why they ain't, that's why you ain't supposed to have kids with your siblings. Your siblings had the same genetic flaws as you, bro. The same mutant genes as you in their DNA, you feel me? So that's why your mate is supposed to not be related to you. So whatever flaws you have will be covered by their normal genes. Because the same flaws you got, the same flaws you got and uh, flaws you got in your DNA, they not going to have them same flaws in, in the parts of their DNA. Because they come from a, a, a totally different bloodline, you feel me? But, of course, your brother and sister are going to share the same genetic flaws as you. Because they got the same parents as you, you feel me? So that's why when you get your mate, so say there's this recessive genetic flaw I got, you feel me? And then I get with somebody else and they don't got that same flaw in that part of their DNA. So it's going to cover it up and my kid won't exhibit that genetic flaw, you feel me? But if I get with somebody else that has that same genetic flaw, then it's going to show in my kid because it'll no longer be a recessive trait. It's going to be dominant because there ain't no dominant trait to cover up that recessive trait. You feel me? So... Maybe that's how they got animal heads because they're born out of incest. I don't know. But anyone who believes in supreme beings and gods with human bodies and animal heads has lost their fucking marbles, bro. Real stuff. Like, how can you call your, how can you say God is within you or whatever the case it is 
and we and we supposed to say we made in God's image. We we are literally fit, physical manifestations of God's, and and we why don't we got animal heads? Because he didn't look like that. You feel me? Like like. Bro, y'all not making no sense. It's so inconsistent. Why do some people, why do some of the guys got animal heads and some of the guys don't? And if Enoch claims to be the reincarnation if of these guys, of Horus, like he he claims to be the reincarnation of Horus, if he claims to be the ancestor of these guys, why don't y'all got animal heads? That don't make no sense. Anybody who believes in their gods are, are, are beings with human bodies and animal heads is nuts, bro. Like Enoch likes to compare everything he talks about to the Bible, fam. Like Enoch likes to compare Seth to Satan. You feel me? When whole time Osiris got freaky with Seth's wife, Nephthys, who was also his brother and sister. So more incest, of course, coming from this Egyptology stuff. So he stole his sister from his brother and did it with her, and that's how Anubis was born. Which sleeping with any man's wife, that's. That's evil as fuck, man. My mouth is dry as hell today, bro. My mouth is dry as hell today, bro. Sleeping with any man's wife, fam, that's demonic as hell, bro. Real shit. So everybody comes at Seth like, oh, he's so evil and this and that. But yet, fam, nobody ever claimed um, Osiris to be evil or demonic, and he slept with another man's wife. Like, of course, that's what enraged Seth and made him start doing the things he was doing. All this started from what, what Osiris did to him. Like, how you, how you, which of y'all not going to feel some type of way if you find out your brother did the nasty with your wife? Which of y'all not going to feel some type of way? Exactly, fam. So who is really the evil one in this situation? Who is, who is really the one that started all this chaos, fam? Osiris, fam. Y'all so backwards, fam. So Seth, Seth killed Osiris over the fact that he slept with his wife, which was also his sister. And, and a dead Osiris still end up having a kid with his sister, Isis. And they gave birth to another incest baby. The second Horus, bro, who had a falcon head. So this dude came out with a falcon head out of nowhere because neither one of his parents had a falcon head. You feel me? So that don't even make no sense. So then anyone who believes in this Egyptology stuff, this new age stuff, they also believe in a flat earth. They believe that Ra is the sun and every night he plunges deep into the ocean down to the underworld. And Seth has to fight off a giant snake for him every night. Then eventually he emerges victorious and that's when the sun pops up out the, out the ocean again for morning time. And, floats, and then he floats across the sky on his solar boat. This, is this what y'all seriously believe, bro? This is what y'all seriously believe. Why hasn't anybody sent a drone to follow the sun and watch it plunge into the ocean, bro? Or, or sent any type of camera to record such an event, you feel me? Or sent a weather balloon up into the air to watch the sun go down into the ocean. Actually plunge itself into the ocean. Like, this is some straight fantasy comic book stuff. They can't explain why the sun goes down on one side of the world and then appears on the other, you feel me? Like different regions of Egypt and different dynasties place different levels in, of importance and value on different gods. You feel me? A god who was a supreme god above the others in one region and one dynasty, you feel me, would be placed beneath a different supreme god in another region and another dynasty. Like I said, like fam, if if you lived solely off honey, selling honey or whatever the case it was. You will worship a, a god of flowers or a god of like bees or honeybees or any type of pollinator more than anything. You feel me? Because that's how you was making your livelihood. So you will put that god or goddess above any other god or goddess compared to like somebody who is staying along the Nile. They worship a god of the Nile or worship a god of the river, or worship the, the god of rain or something like that. You feel me? Because they was living off the river. You feel me? Or opposed to a god that you worship cats. They're going to worship a, a goddess or a god with a cat head. You feel me? Something like that. I mean, worship people that worship cats. You feel me? Because there was a lot of cat worship in Egypt. You feel me? So they're going to put a, a, a cat god or goddess above any other god. Like, the whole religion is inconsistent. Just like Christianity, bro. And that's why you shouldn't be following any religion. Only the Bible. Period. The Bible is not religion. Religions were made 
out of use of the Bible. You feel me? Egyptologists believe the black woman is God, bro. For real. So, which is why they so big on feminism. Not even seeing how much feminism destroy our people, fam, our families, our households, us as a people, so-called black people. Feminism has totally destroyed our families, our households, bro. Like, come on, man. Destroy our people as a whole, fam. That's why we got so much motherfucking um, homosexuality going in, going on in our communities right now, bro. Like, but y'all, y'all who follow Enoch the Freestyle Prince and Young Pharaoh, y'all down with homosexuality. Because according to y'all Egyptian gods, Book of the Dead, the Egyptian god Geb stuck his private parts between the buttocks of his son, bro. And this is in y'all books, fam. If you don't believe me, go read Spell 700 in the Book of the Dead, fam. Spell 700 in the Book of the Dead. And if you're a real Egyptologist, if you really believe in these Egyptian gods, you should have a copy of the Book of the Dead. Go to Spell 700. Geb stuck his private parts in his son's booty. Are you serious, bro? Y'all promote homosexuality. Y'all guys was on some homosexual stuff, fam. Pyramid text. 1036 talks about horse penetrating Seth's anus with his seed, bro. Pyramid text 1036. If you really believe in this stuff, you should have this stuff. You can go look at Pyramid text 1036 right now, bro. Like, Papyrus Chester BD number one, or Chester's BD Papyrus number one. I don't know if it's BD or Betty, but it's spelled B A T T Y. So Chester BD Papyrus number one, whatever y'all want to call it, is another one of y'all ancient Egyptian texts. Speaks on when the gods call for uh, Seth and Horus to make peace after Horus cut off his mother's head. You feel me? Horus went and cut off his mother, his own mother's head. This is the stuff that they promote, bro. And after Horus' eyes had to be restored by Hather, which uh, Enoch the Freestyle Prince, he says that's his mother. He says his mother is the reincarnation of Hather. But anyways... Back to what I was talking about. They were supposed to make peace or whatever. So a time actually came when they came around each other to reconcile and hang out. And Horace and um, Seth, they was with each other, hanging out, making peace, you feel me? Reconciling, you feel me? So then they had end up going to sleep. It was time for them to go to bed. They went to sleep, you feel me? And then Seth, oh, this is in y'all text, by the way. And, and Chester B.D. Pepper is number one, fam. When Horace went to sleep, it was said that Seth caused his phallus to become stiff, bro. So you know what that means. What happens when your phallus becomes stiff? And he inserted it between Horace's thighs. This is in y'all text. You cannot deny this. This is what y'all Egyptian guys was up to. This is the stuff they was doing. They was raping each other to prove dominance over each other, bro. And after that, fam, his mother Isis, fam, he jacked, she jacked Horus off, fam, so he could come into a pot and then, like, throw it in a river or something like that. This comes from all y'all Egyptian texts. I'm cutting y'all with y'all own texts. I'm using y'all own books as a sword, bro, for real, just like I do with the, the Islamic community and the Muslims, fam. When they talk about uh, who's chosen and this and that, this and that, fam, I always bring up 2 Sarah 1 and 22. 2 Sarah S U R A 1 and 122. 1 and 122. So it's 1 uh, colon 122. Speaks about how Allah has uh, chosen the Israelites and favored them uh, and, and preferred them over the whole world. And He favors them over the whole world. That's what that verse speaks of, and that's in the Quran. So all major religions or whatever the case or whatever you want to call it or all major texts spiritual texts they all refer to the israelites as the chosen people they refer to the israelites as the chosen people bro period it's all about us period so look fam it's just so much i can go to but if you don't understand by now you probably won't never understand i'm not trying to make this video that long fam. i'm trying to get I'm trying to make as many points as I can as one little video. I don't even see how the majority of y'all is even following Enoch the Freestyle Prince anyways or following what he says. Like, or following what Young Pharaoh says. Like, a lot of y'all ain't even black people. It's so-called black people. So-called because nobody on the face of this earth is the color of my shirt, bro. We all different shades of brown. And so-called white people, they different shades of red or pink. 
which is a derivative of red, which is a derivative of brown. Period. We all different shades of brown. So I don't even see how a lot of y'all people is following what Enoch the Freestyle Prince says when his information pertains to ancient Egyptians, pertains to Egyptians or their ancestors and relatives. It's, that's what it pertains to. Y'all, y'all, it, it pertains to bl so-called blacks and Africans, not Hispanics, not white folks. But y'all all on there looking for something to believe in. And this stuff is against y'all. Little do y'all know. This stuff is against y'all. These people believe that they're the ancestors of Egyptian gods and pharaohs. So how could you even fit that description if you're not a so-called black person? Like, you see, they promoting homosexuality, incest, feminism, false god worship, and other demonic stuff, fam. But everyone's, but everyone else, they can't. they calling everyone else demonic you feel me they saying everyone else is demonic and not chosen and we not chosen because we don't agree with all this shit this homosexuality this incest this feminism this false gods these gods all freaking each other all being brothers and sisters freaking each other all that stuff fam because we don't believe in that fam we not chosen fam and we we destined for destruction you feel me these guys are nuts you feel me like Y'all got a God for everything, bro. Literally, y'all got a God for everything. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all got a God for pee and poop. I'm pretty sure y'all got a God for trees. I'm pretty sure y'all got a God for feet. Y'all probably got a God for hair. Which a lot of y'all black women following that, um, that Egyptology, y'all really need to be praying to that goddess of hair. Real stuff, cause y'all do not know how to take care of y'all stuff, man. And if and if y'all was God, like these Egyptologists say, then you should be able to grow your hair. And you can't, cause you under the curses right now, bro. You under the curses of the Most High. Deuteronomy 28, bro, clearly speaks on we was gonna get sent into slavery by ships. Egypt comes from a Greek word Egyptos, meaning captivity or slavery. You feel me? So. Anyways, man, y'all got a God for everything, man. Y'all probably got a God for dogs. Y'all probably got a God for fish. Y'all probably got a God f for for grass. Y'all probably got a God for, for food. Y'all probably got a God for meat. Y'all got a God for everything. It's like 2,000 gods, fam. Y'all got so many powers that y'all got to please, bro. Y'all got so many powers that y'all got to keep happy. But the truth is, man, there's only one God, though. And that one God is within you and is you. You have all the power. Stop the confusion, man. And, it, and, and if you really about it, man, come stick, come stand up for what y'all talking about. Y'all need to deal with everything I just said. Don't try to go around it. Don't try to make another point. No, deal with all this stuff I just said first, fam. And these is facts. These is in y'all book. The Book of the Dead, fam. Chester B.D. Pepper is number one, which is ancient Egyptian text. All that stuff, bro. This is y'all facts. Y'all need to deal with all this stuff I said first. Y'all need to deal with all this incest I, I talked about first. This incest, this homosexuality, fam. These uh, these human human creatures with animal heads, bro. We need to deal with that because now y'all worshiping something that's beneath us. Animals are beneath us, bro. We have dominion over everything on this earth. Over, over everything on this planet animals are beneath us and when y'all worshiping things with animal heads you are what your head is if that's a human body with a falcon head that's a falcon bro for real y'all worshiping animals bro period y'all big tweaking big tweaking but for real come come debate y'all cause or whatever fam and i got the instagram too man y'all know my instagram come hop on my instagram man we could debate face to face we could talk about this period fam and if you don't want to talk about it, shut the fuck up.